let's not get it misconstrued, bro. Because I ain't about to, I'm not about to co-sign this freaky behavior. But at the same time, bro, the whole industry is nasty. We act like we don't know this. And, and, uh, and I'm going to keep it. So it's okay. No, as long as the industry is nah, nah, nasty. Nah, 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 nah. It's not okay. It's not okay. Because let me, let me finish my thought. When for, right, all your jo- when for all your for all for all my dogs drop right, I was the I felt like I was the only one pointing this out. I'm like, bro, am I weird, bro? He keeps talking about an 18 mm. year old. That's weird. Everybody like, man, they grown. I'm like, y'all niggas is crazy. I said this. I put this on. I, I wish I could find a tweet or something. I was saying this from the beginning. On for all my dogs, he kept talking about like young chicks. I didn't understand mm. that. But again, I am somebody that can. Eh, sometimes I can separate the music from the person, right? So I'm like, right. I'm like, I'm just letting it blow over because nobody else talking about it. And sometimes I could be, some people call me crazy, right? So I'm like, all right, whatever. Maybe I'm tripping. So when all this stuff is coming out, I'm like, bro, I've been saying this. Even so, it's a part in the, in, in the conversation when I was talking to Wayne, though, and I was like, yeah, I mean, people call this nigga, uh, like he like to date young girls. He's like, I don't know about that. Like, I, like I've been saying this. So, so it's like this ain't surprising for me because first of all, all these niggas is freaky. Like you niggas be mm-hmm. horny, bro. Like I don't know what's. I don't know, bro. I don't know if it's something in the water or niggas just want a girl that's going to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. me, I mean, I like a little, like, chaos a little bit. Not too much. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like, but I think it'd be the controlling factor in, in niggas. Like, they just want a girl that's going to do whatever they say. You feel me? But, damn, man, you get money, mm-hmm. man. You should better get anybody. Like, that's really player. You can get a 30-year-old, 35-year-old. She's going to do whatever you say. It's just, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I don't like that. That's weird, bro. Especially if you link it with a 16 year old, that's nasty, bro. Like, that's really nasty. I don't even see how somebody can be your friend. I can't even be nobody's friend that's doing no weirdo stuff like that. I make fun of my friends that date 21 year olds. I'm sorry. Like, it's like, that's nasty behavior, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, niggas need to speak up. That's the problem. Bro, I mean, nigga, you only 33. What are you doing? I don't want no 21 year old. I don't want nothing to do with you. Honestly, you probably Mm -hmm. don't, just like my daughter. Like, y'all got the same mm-hmm. lingo. Y'all probably dress alike. Y'all got the same hairstyle. I don't want no 20. Not saying not it's, it's legal. Cool. But you're not mentally grown. I know where I was at at 21. Shit. I know where I was at at 25. Let's be honest. So it's like, I'm not saying you, you shouldn't, you can't date a 21 year old. Cool. I'm just saying it's something that I won't do. And it's something I joke about with my friends. Am I judging them? Eh, I ain't gonna lie, kind of. Because it's like, bro, like you, you're 30, you're 28. Word. I'm with you on that. Now, let me address. I'm seeing niggas in the chat. Mike 414 sitting here talking about, yo, how how can you actually take what he's saying is real? Did Kendrick actually beat his beat his wife? Did you see evidence of him beating his wife? Like the whole internet is on this case no. right now. I didn't see mad evidence for Drake's side. Wait, no, Everything you're saying is evidence. That's, but let's not even get into that yet. That's that's the problem with us, bro. And it's it'd be more so like men and women. But I'm addressing this like mm-hmm. when we addressing one thing, we addressing one thing. Right, mm-hmm. we can address Kendrick Lamar when we're addressing that, but we're talking about pedophilia right now. We're talking about a grown ass man mm-hmm. dating eight, 16 year olds and 18 year olds. You know what I'm trying to say? Peda- pedophilia, Pe- pe- yeah, the- pedophilia. I'm sorry, it's the ball to me. Yeah, it's not my bad, but we're talking about sorry, pedophilia right now. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, when we talk about Kendrick Lamar, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, that don't make that yeah. just because Drake is doing this and Kendrick is do- no, they both wrong. Mm-hmm. You out here beating a woman that's crazy. Like, but hold up, let's get back to Drake. Yo, all I'm saying is it's nasty behavior. I don't really have any facts, so I really can't talk on this man. What I and what I will say is I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I know it's for the sake of hip hop, bro. Them throwing like shots at each other. That's cool. But if we want to get into some like nitty gritty into the thick mm-hmm. of it, pause. All this shit is corny, bro. Like they ain't really like, like, they, like yeah, they, yes, they go, yes. they going at each other. Fat, like, I'm not saying like yeah. family is a part of beef. But okay, cool. I ain't mad at that. It's just how they doing it. It's like getting catty. It's almost like two girls fighting at this point. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's, it's chatty patty shit. Yeah. Like niggas is just telling everybody little business and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if so if it, niggas had a pack, they'll be like, yo, you left your pack and it's a bad house. Damn, nigga, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's like. I, <laughs> no, that's what I was saying. I was saying to my, my homeboy the other day. I said rap beef wasn't like this in the past. Like it wouldn't be so much, but because you got two niggas that's not street dudes 
<clears throat> battling each other. Like that's the only thing they have to go at each other with. You know what I'm saying? They can't, I don't know. They ain't even came up with no inventive ways to make fun of each other. They ain't compare niggas to something else. It's just, and then they make like you said, stuff. I don't like, yeah. the, I don't like the make believe stuff, right? Like the, the, uh, talking about Drake got a daughter. You get what I'm saying? Like, granted, they saying Drake, like kind of set that up. You feel what I'm saying? And, and mm -hmm. that's, and that's creative on his side. But getting back to Drake mm -hmm. real quick, hold up, because I don't want to. I ain't want to just skim past this. I understand young young women are attractive, bro. I get it; they are attractive. And to keep it a hundred with you, we all have thoughts that probably shouldn't come out anyway. I'm not blaming you for thinking about things, right? I'm blaming you for acting on things. And and, and some people might kill me for that in the comments, but it is what it is. I'm blaming on you, I'm blaming you for acting on things. That's just not that's just not cool, bro. Especially a nigga like Drake. Mm -hmm. Bro, you the biggest superstar in the world. Mm -hmm. What do you gotta deal with an 18-year-old for? A 16-year-old? I don't understand it. Granted, uh what, what they can say Jay-Z did it with Beyonce. I'm not a I'm not okay with none of it, bro. Like, get somebody your age, bro. Like, show me what show me where your confidence at for real. Show me where, show me where your your uh your what is it, Barado? Like, show me how how much of a man you really is. You get what I'm saying? You don't gotta go and try to trick the young girl to, to be in your corner. Like, I don't know, man. I don't want to drag this, but like, I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say I'm pandering. I'm a uh, simp. All that, man. That shit is corny. I got a daughter. I got a 14 year old. She about to be 15 in August. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, that shit ain't cool. Mm -hmm. And a nigga look at her, bro. Like, bro, y'all niggas is weird. Like that shit ain't mm -hmm. cool, bro. Like, I don't man, that ain't cool. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I don't care 18 or not. Like, you could drink, it's legal. Man, you niggas is pedophiles. You be what you say, you be y'all be red shirting these chicks. Y'all be mm -hmm. red shirting them. <laughs> they can be ready for what man, y'all nigga. I'm never gonna be okay with that. And I'm always gonna speak up on it. It just is what it is. Always. And uh going back to the Kendrick Lamar thing, yeah. Like you putting your hands on your woman, like beating up a chick, bro. It's crazy. So let and, and I'm gonna get into it. So let's get into it. I feel good today. Putting your hands on a woman is never okay. Some instances mm -hmm. you might have to hold her, right? When she's trying to swing mm -hmm. on you. And mm -hmm. even then, woman, we all know women, women got away with words, boy. I swear, right? Like, oh, he put his hands on me. No, I was holding you back. You was trying to try to take my head off. So yeah, I'm holding you, I'm pushing you off me. Like, women got away with words. So I ain't like I said, I ain't high, I ain't cutting no cars today. But at the same time, like, if you physically beating on a woman with your hands, like, that's different. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be straight up. Because I think I said this before. The only way I'm putting my hands on a woman is if it's a group of them jumping my woman. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm going to be straight up with you. I ain't, letting my, I ain't letting my shorty go down like that. But to be putting your hands on your woman, bro, is crazy, bro. Like, to, just think about it. You balling your fists up, punching the one that you sleep with. That's nasty work. What's wrong with these niggas? But these be these be the ones we look up to. What the ones y'all look up to? Mm hmm. All right. So I would like to play the record. I haven't heard Family Matters since I first played it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh Saturday morning. So like, I, I definitely needs to hear this again. Hold up. Let me throw the joint up there so that uh we can play. Which one we listen to? Uh, Drop in the chat. Do I owe Kendrick Lamar apology? Nigga. Nigga, I don't think I owe him apology because I just said I don't like his music. He don't make music that I want to listen to. But this, this is still Yo. valid. This is good, bro. You, you, you just never, you never delved into the catalog, yo. Because after you, after that last stream, and you was like, yo, this thing ain't got no real hits. He ain't got no dance. I'm like, no, I, ain't I had to say he had no hits. I just said he don't like, bro. I don't want to hear uh like turn up music. You were saying he ain't got no club records, no turn up. Yeah, shit. I don't want to hear. <laughs> Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Like that's cool, but I'm not like it's cool. But like whatever song, like he got a couple songs, but it's just not my thing. This right here, like not like us. <laughs> He did a great job at saying, okay, y'all, I think he, I think this is why I like Drake so much. You can tell he got his ears and eyes to the streets. I feel like Kendrick Lamar did the master Drake move. Like he's, I feel like he heard what people were saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it was, it was two, one or two things. He heard what people were saying and was like, all right, I'm going to give y'all something to dance to. Second, it was like, I'm going to beat Drake at his own move, which is mm -hmm. a, a club song. And I mm -hmm. think which whichever one it was, he he killed it perfectly. Like it was it was bro, it was a perfect delivery. You know what I'm saying? So like when I'm listening to it, I'm like, damn, this sound like 
the Bay. This sound like West Coast. Like this sound like that West Coast bop. Like everybody mm. over West is just killing it. You know what I'm saying? Like even if we don't like it in the, on the East Coast, it sound like this is a West Coast bop that we we gonna play this. We are gonna be sea walking. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I love that. And I'm mm. I'm gonna say this. I see a lot of people on Twitter, on Instagram, like Drake stands that's trying to discredit this Kendrick Lamar uh, track. I don't like that. I feel like this is clear, a good track. Like, come on, y'all. Like, that's what I be saying last time when I was like, yo, how can we just have an unbiased conversation? This was a clear W in K Kendrick Lamar uh, um, lane. Like, this was a win. This is a win. This is a win. Mm -hmm. I've been rapping. Mm -hmm. Let's can we play this? Let's go. Let's get let's get to it, bro. That was a bazooka, bro. That was that gene is crazy. That's a bop, bro. That's crazy. Like, it's, no, oh my there's god, no way. Unruly garbage. Stop it. Let me, Stop it. Right, okay, okay. Hey, I probably say y'all just glazing. I, I want to <laughs> publicly apologize to Kendrick Lamar. I took my glasses off. I want to go. publicly apologize for to Kendrick Lamar for saying that he can't make a song that I want to listen to in a car. I want to publicly apologize to Kendrick Lamar for saying he yes. can't make a you Bob that I'm a like. You better make a clip out of this. I just want to apologize <laughs> to K Dot, aka the Boogeyman. But man, still forget that nigga. I'm still rocking with Drake. Come on, you hate that nigga. I'm still hey. going with Drake. Hey, hey I'm nigga. still letting hey. you know that, bro. Drake can still, bro. Let's not act like Family Matters wasn't good, though. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. But he losing so right he, now. Bad. Okay, he losing, but bro, losing, listen, who, bro, it happened to the best of us. It happened to um Tom Brady and uh when they went undefeated, and he lost at the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like we go 14 and 0, then we get an L. You know what I'm saying? Drake is like 15 and 0 now. And okay, now he he got two two L's. I ain't mad at that. Come on, what are we talking about? He lost a he lost a uh he lost a push of T, and he's still in this battle. He's still in this battle. I'm still rocking with Drake. Come on, man. I still got faith in him. Wow. Said Drake won. In which universe do we live in that Drake won? Drake has not won nothing. Drake, yo, Drake dropped a ferocious record Friday and immediately got slapped up two times back to back by Kendrick. Like, yo, how do you get slapped up two times in the same day? Right, let's be honest, though. You know what I'm let's be honest, though. Let's go. Go. go let's go. I just want to be real. Let's not act like family matters is technically better than meet the Grams. It was just the, the delivery of the song that added a little extra oomph to it. Me, Family Matters is better than Meet the Grams. It's just he dropped it right after he dropped Meet uh, Family Matters, which added it's like shock value to it. So it made us kind of like f forget about Family Matters. I don't agree. I'm think, saying that Kendrick's, record, that Kendrick's rap record is better because it completely played off of the record that had just dropped. So this is like, Yo, uh, 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 what did they say? Family Matters and then Meet the Grams. They two television shows. Meet the Grams is a playoff of a television show. Family Matters is a television show. I thought that was phenomenal. And then going into the verses, yo, Kendrick goes nuts lyrically on the verse, yo. This goes crazy. Now, I'm not I'm not saying that Drake didn't go crazy with his verse. But, yo, Kendrick edged, edged it out, baby. He edged it out. And then to come back. With this joint that we just played, come on. No, bro. no, this one I'm I'm rocking with all day. I'm rocking with it all day, but I don't if know if I'm saying. This. Bro, I tried to listen to Meet the Grams and I tried to listen to it. I can't really listen to it outside of the mindset of like beef, right? Like like they not like us. Meet the Grams, uh, even Push Ups. Those are songs that I can listen to outside of the beef mentality. So five, ten, ten years ago, I can listen to them and it could be a good song in my perspective. This is just my opinion, guys. That's why I think um, Family Matters is better than uh, Meet the Grams because outside of this beef stuff, I'm not listening to that. Like that's it's not a bop to me. It's the same old Kendrick Lamar. He's saying some crazy stuff, which is is a is a it's probably a harder punch. You get what I'm saying? Like I'll give you that when it comes to the when it comes to the to the rap beef, it's probably a harder punch mm -hmm. than how he dropped it when he dropped it right after uh, Family Matters. It was perfect delivery, excellent execution. That's the word I was looking for. It was it was flawless execution execution. So that 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 made it. A better record at the moment but if i'm looking back on it and i'm listening to it right now family matters is better it's better in my opinion i'm listening to you what you're saying 
let me listen to this Drake record. Let me let me let me let me put this Drake record on, and then we I, I'll see if I agree. I will not concede to your point yet. I'm not gonna just let you have that. Let me listen to this motherfucker, and then we can we can have a real discussion. So hold on, let me let me put this on. I feel like Drake is the first person to say names in this beef. Kendrick has not said nobody's name until this point, until after this record. Am, am I right on that one? Yo, chat, let me know. I feel like Drake is the first nigga to say names, and I feel like you should get points for actually saying niggas' names out loud. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, 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 but I think Kendrick Kendrick Lamar has been very direct. Like, he's been very direct. He never said that nigga name, but he ain't never said that nigga name. Drake name? Yeah, he never, nah, never. He, I don't before, think. Before, I think. I think after this record, he said his name out loud, but I don't think he said his name before. Nah, he was saying his name, bro. I feel like, I, if anything, to be honest, and I'm being unbiased because you know I'm rocking with Drake. But if anything, Kendrick Lamar has been more direct than Drake. Think about it. Drake dropped push ups. He half ass dropped it. It came out. It was AI. He changed the beat. Then he gave it to uh academics, and then it took him like a couple days to even own it and put it on um. DSPs is like, bro, own that is yours. We want to know it's no, yours. No, no, no. I, I got that part. What I'm saying is physically saying their name in the record. That's what I'm talking Ted, about. I don't know. Like, yeah, Drake, I think I, I feel like Drake is the first nigga to be like Kendrick, yo, Metro, uh, Future. Like he calling niggas' names out in this bitch. Okay. You know what I mean? And I don't even it might because he mentioned Ross's name in the last this. And then this one, he mentioned he mentioned everybody else's name. But that's what I'm saying. He should get extra points for that. Instead of that, yeah, you know who it is, or the boy, or Six God, or like, you know what I mean? Using other stuff like he ain't really, they ain't started directing shit at each other until now. Like, why, where they saying their names. No, you're right, bro. But this is why, bro, we got to be careful with these chicks, bro. Because, like, girls, they get in their feelings, and they start moving off mm -hmm. emotions, and then it, it backfires mm -hmm. on you. Like, think about it. You're like, man, your, your girl caption is screaming, save me. It's like, that's really, bro. The only way to a nigga is money and a chick, right? And like, bro, these mm -hmm. girls don't be moving solid sometimes, bro, because like nobody should, like you shouldn't be able to bring up my woman or my ex-woman or whatever the case may be. You shouldn't be able to do that. If you're moving solid, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like people be moving, this wacky out here, like they be moving weird, bro. Even when you upset with a nigga, some things you just don't do. Some things you just don't do. Cause like, if I'm hearing this, I'm tight. Mm -hmm. I'm tight. I'm like, bro, like shit, nobody should, but it is rap beef. Is it's, it's the sport. I get it. But like, it, if you think about it, all, all our biggest drug dealers, all, all our biggest stars, they fell. They, their demise was a woman, not even money. Mm -hmm. If you look at all the movies, mm -hmm. like you will see our biggest icons. Most of them fall to the demise of a woman more than they fall to the demise of money with that ego and that pride. I agree. I feel like money is first and ego is second. So you think it's money, Nigga, ego, then woman? No, no, no. I'm saying uh, women first, then ego. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then ego is second. Nah, fact. Yo, niggas die over ego shit. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're letting your pride get in the way or, you know what I mean? Somebody step on your shoe. Now you feel like you got to go over the top on some dumb shit or, you know what I mean? It'd be money. It'd be, it'd be, yo, I would say women, pride, then money. Mm. I, I, this, like, you can say it don't hurt, but this probably would sting a little bit. Like, man, that's why I be telling these. Like, this would sting. Like, this might come out. Man, we gonna finish playing it like that. Like, yeah. Hmm. Let's get back to it because this shit is fire. You gonna sit up here and tell me that uh, that was better than uh, Family Matters? Nah, Family Matters is definitely better. Right. You know, you wanted to take a quick nap. <laughs> when you was yeah, when, I did. When I you did. was listening to that, that was you was like, damn, when is this gonna be over? I definitely was. That was definitely a moment where I was like, please shut the fuck up. Right. This is getting really, really, really annoying and old. It's repetitive. And very repetitive. So, yes, I'm going to give you that. I always look. Look, I'm, I'm, we always going to be real about this shit. But for those who like numbers, for those who like numbers, ladies and gentlemen, Family Matters dropped on Friday. That was one day ago. That's a, actually like a day and a few hours. Got 11 million views on YouTube, all right? So then, <clears throat> the record we just played dropped around the same time. Actually, 30 minutes later, 13 million views. Mm. The numbers. Then, the double back, the Kendrick not like us. Within 16 hours, 13 million views. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Crazy. Where we at with it? <laughs> so, I mean, 
there was some shots fired on this particular show live stream between uh, two black men where one of the black men on this stream says something about numbers. And I was like, yo, he talking about, yeah, man, Drake got the, yeah, I mean, the numbers. He got the, yeah. Wait, like, wait, yo. I said Drake, I, I, no. He's, if you, he was look, throwing at numbers the, no, if you look at the, the history of it, I think Kendrick Lamar has better numbers. Like even with his projects. <laughs> Yo, which is insane. But 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 to Drake's defense, Drake puts out way more music than Kendrick does. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Uh now I don't I don't what I say that Kendrick is more impactful impactful than Drake. I don't I don't believe that. I feel like Drake has moved culture for the better part of a decade. And not saying that 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 Kendrick doesn't, but not in the way that Drake does. Like for real, for real. Like Drake has really not only moved the needle for himself and for culture, he's moved the needle for tons of different artists. You know what I'm saying? I think I think uh, that's that's a good observation. But because Drake dropped so much, it's hard to tell, right? Because sometimes, like when you when you constantly in somebody people when you constantly in somebody's face, they can't really appreciate you enough. Whereas though Kendrick, he don't drop as much, so when he do drop, people it hits harder. It's more impactful. Like for example, even when he dropped um, what what was it uh? Not good kid, Mad City. Um, when everything was going on with the uh with the guy that got that got killed with his his, his the, they put the knee his knee on his neck. Um right. what's his name? Floyd. Uh George, yeah, George, Floyd. George Floyd. Then he dropped an album during that time, like when all the riots was going on. What was the name of that project? Yeah. Don't even give me the line, bro. I, it was either damn, it was either damn, damn or, or it, it wasn't morale no, in the big step. It was he got uh, he got good kid Mad to City to pimp, to, to pimp a butterfly. I think he dropped that project during all of that time. So of course it's like more impactful because the the body of work that he's dropping during the time as well. If that makes sense, I feel like a lot of times mm -hmm. we don't incorporate or we don't think about what's going on at the moment. And in the moment mm -hmm. we had this, we had it was a moment in our our, our country where we all riding. Police just uh. Just murdered a man, George Floyd, rest in peace, right? And mm -hmm. he just he he dropped this masterful project of, of to pimp a butterfly, masterful to the masses. I didn't like it. I'm gonna stick to that. And and we're talking about like um the just can't get my words together, guys. I'm so I'm sorry. But he's talking about the, uh, the inequalities in our country, and, and, and you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? They're like that's impactful. So that's gonna mm -hmm. that's gonna be more impactful than what when the Drake drop up for all my dogs. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I understand when, when, when Kendrick comes and he said, yo, I make, um, damn, I need lyrics up. But he, he was like, man, I, I make music that uh, empowers as you make music that um, pacifies. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm. yeah, I get that. So of course, if you only dropping projects doing big moments in our country, yeah, it's going to seem more impactful. I mean, that's just my take on it. True. That's true. I mean, but at the end of the day, like, sometimes we need to be pacified. Yeah, there's a purpose for everything. Like you know, what I mean. So I, I, I don't really. The ch I, yo, I feel like it's making me check out of the beef because a, what you said earlier, the chatty pattiness, and you know, we, you, it's almost like it's almost like two psychologists having a rap battle. Like I, I don't need y'all to get so intricate. Flip some bars. Say, give me a Flintstone flip, or you know what I'm saying. Give me some other shit. Like niggas is doing too heavy and too deep and too mental. Nah, I don't it's think just Drake like is going too deep. I think Drake is being him, and that's why a lot of people like the. uh Me personally, I didn't like par partial of Family Matters because one, I didn't think he he needed to be addressing anybody else, bro. Kendrick Lamar is the one that's giving you the run for your money. Only address him. That's one, right? And be, remember, before mm -hmm. before Family Matters, what did I say? I said I don't want to hear uh, Drake drop a. Um, and I'm glad we got all these timestamps because I, I hate agreeing with other niggas' opinions because I don't want to seem like I'm I'm jocking them. But I said one, I don't like the fact that he's addressing other people, right? I'm not really feeling mm -hmm. that. Like, bro, address Kendrick Lamar. That's your biggest obstacle right now. Get him out the way. Mm -hmm. And two, I personally didn't think that he he was going to win or come out victorious in this battle with the gimmicks. So yeah, this is family matters is a good song. I can listen to it in the car, but the way Kendrick Lamar is coming at you, I feel like you need to go hard with bars. So even when I first heard family matters, I'm like, this is good, but I don't think this the one I think that he need to drop like a timestamp drink. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, I've been said this. I heard Joe button say this on academics, but I've been saying this. I feel like 
that's the bag that when he gets most lyrical when you hit when you see when you see drake say a time stamp right that's when you know he's about to get into his lyricism so i thought mm -hmm. he should drop the time stamp but i'm like maybe it was altered because kendrick lamar dropped the time stamp but i'm like nah that's your bag that's what i want to hear this is the only way that i can see you really coming out victorious against kendrick lamar uh one of my friends was saying that drake dropped the family matters because like he's staying true to himself but i don't mm -hmm. i don't really i don't like that take i don't i don't i don't agree with that because it ain't like drake can't get lyrical we've seen him get lyrical on a few occasions right. so we don't need the gimmicks drake like i get it it's cool right. it's witty 50 cent cool give us some lyrics though like some hard and bars I, pause i i agree with everything you just said but i would like to add one more element we don't need more seven minute records Please, can we stop with the seven, six, seven minute records? Yo, y'all have proven that y'all can rap for a long time. It's it's becoming redundant at this point. It's not as fun. I like a two, two, three minute record. Get to it. Like you said, give me some hard ass bars. Don't give me no fluff bars. Don't give me no, uh, uh you know, little sound effect transition moments and all that you ain't got to flip the beat 15 times I don't. just give me the fucking, give me some crazy bars make it three minutes get in and get out let me replay it over and over like i kind of like i, I kind of like the six minute songs it's pretty cool for real I, I, yeah. it's nostalgic it's like it's like this how hip-hop used to be so it's nostalgic i, I kind of like it especially the, the 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 flips of the bars like that gives hip-hop beat that gives like old school hip-hop rap uh me personally i like it um but it's funny because i want to bring this up remember when all this before all this even came about right i was talking to one you know mm -hmm. and i'm like bro i don't like kendrick lamar because he complicates things too much it's like he's he's mm -hmm. rapping a mathematical problem everybody killed me mm -hmm. oh my god he just want to hear that that mumble rap stuff bro now i'm hearing everybody say the same thing i literally been said mm -hmm. this i said bro don't nobody want to hear something that you got to do a math equation to like mx square equals b or mx squared plus one. like i don't want to hear that like bro, you making this shit complicated you, i want to be able to clip, like it's not even a fact you're going to make a clip out of that and put it on your instagram yo make a clip out of that shit, yo, yo. even like for even like not nah, for sure I, but now i hear everybody saying it and i'm like bro when i was saying niggas but whatever what i will say is when you you had made a point where he's like sometimes we want to be pacified it's not that remember i made the analogy the other day i was talking about um doctors and lawyers mm -hmm. and teachers versus athletes and rappers mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. touching the masses mm -hmm. and if you overcomplicate things you can't kendrick has touched the masses for sure right i'm just saying mm -hmm. for my argument when you complicate things it kind of you kind of leave people out of your audience like you it's like you leaving people you what's the word like i'm sorry it's like you're not able to touch, reach everybody when you complicate things because you're going to only have a certain amount of people who can understand it or who wants to do the research and who aren't lazy to understand what you're saying right so when mm -hmm. you dump things down a little bit you can reach a wide a, a broader audience and what i'm saying by that mm -hmm. when i compare it to the teachers the lawyers and the doctors compared to the athletes and the rappers bro doctors lawyers their their field they only can help a certain amount of people within their lifetime mm -hmm. within their career when you have a rapper mm. is is no real um you you don't have a limit to the people that you can touch and we all know when it comes to right. making money making an impact the more people you can help the more money you will make and that's the same that's mm. that's what i'm trying to uh, compare the two so yeah kendrick lamar can rap his ass off but if you keep overcomplicating mm -hmm. people you going if you keep overcomplicating things you're going to lose people right whereas mm. though when drake mm. keep making fun music more people want to want to have fun than more people want to do the work and we know that i agree with that however the numbers don't support your theory at this point yeah don't so like you know what i mean <laughs> but what but what i will say is i'm 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 agreeing with you that right now like seven minute kendrick record and you just droning and droning on with these over complex things it is starting to get annoying yeah like yo give me some like i said give me some give me some bars that we can understand you know what i'm saying like you know get get to computers putin like cameron did or you know what i mean like these like let's go back like i started telling niggas that's why i was we was playing them old school disc records from back in the day like you know what i mean like niggas had fun and 
interesting ways of, 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 of battling niggas and making fun of niggas to not just make the shit hurt and yo, I'm gonna get personal and tell you about your moms or what your dad did and all that. It's like, bro, nah, nigga, I'm gonna toss these bars at you. You know what I mean? We're gonna do some gun flips and say some wild shit and then we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, like, you hurts. know what I mean? You want to talk about I'm gonna tell you what hurts. It hurts when you gotta live with it forever. Like back to back hurt because exactly. it was in a club all every day. You couldn't you couldn't get away from it. Exactly. So that's why right. I say that's why I was saying family matters is better than meet the grams because as shock value, meet the grams when it came out, it was like, damn, he couldn't even let the song breathe. So it made us like it. Mm -hmm. Recency bias, right? But the next mm -hmm. day when I'm listening to Family Matters in the car, I'm bumping. I'm like, oh, this is something I can ride to. I try to put on Meet the Grams to listen in the car, and it's like, it I couldn't even get through a minute. It's like, bro. But the same with Euphoria. Euphoria was a great diss. But it's still, when mm -hmm. I tried to listen to it in the car, like it was, it was moments in that song where he just sound like a run-on sentence. So that's why, for me, right, I'm, st I'm still Team Drake. But I'm also not a hater. So when I heard like that, I mean, not like us, it was so different from everything else. I was like, this is crazy. I don't know if y'all watch. Uh, I'm, Bad Boys 2 is one of my favorite movies, right? So it was, mm -hmm. a, it was a scene in Bad Boys 2 when Martin was driving. Or I don't know if it was Bad Boys 1 or Bad Boys 2. Mar Martin was driving and Will Smith looked at Martin and said, that's how you drive. From now on, when you drive, you drive like that. Because every time, uh, you know, Will Smith is a driver for, from the Bad Boys series. And every time he's mm -hmm. driving... Martin is acting scary, he got throw up and things like that. But it was a scene where Martin was whipping the hell out the car. And, and, mm -hmm. and Will Smith was like, man, from now on, you drive like that. So when Kendrick, mm -hmm. when, when Kendrick Lamar dropped, not like us, in my mind, I'm like, from now on, you need to rap like that. Don't rap like nothing else but like that. That's how you rap. Exactly. Prime example. That's how you win people over. You give them, you give them the club bangers. You give them shit that people can enjoy. You give people that people love. Now, what I would, and, and and I'm I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. One thing I'm gonna give to to cap off this part of the conversation. One of the things I'm definitely gonna give Kendrick credit for is dropping the the, the song and then putting niggas into the research mode. Niggas digging through the internet to kind of understand what the fuck he's saying, replay value. I got to listen to this two, three more times so that I can make sure I got everything out of it. You know, people understanding the double and triple entendres that's happening on this motherfucker. I, you know, I give him super much credit for that, but they go, but I still have to agree with you by saying, yeah, yo, this shit gets kind of boring. Like, you know what I mean? This doesn't have, this is music. This is art. This should have replay value. This, is, And that's always been my historical beef with Kendrick. It's like, you don't have replay value for me. Mm -hmm. I don't have entertainment value. It's art value to me. Meaning that, yo, this is beautiful art. Oh, look at you. This is intricate. This is, yo, not uh, any, most human beings couldn't understand this. So see this. I'm going to put it on the shelf. I'll look at it, but I don't want to listen to it. Yo, and that's, you know what I'm saying? And that's from me, how I view Kendrick, bro. And I might be speaking out of turn, but I'm just being, from my perspective, I feel like with the, to pimp a butterfly, he was capitalizing off a moment. The same with this, like things somebody in the chat said, and I believe it is like, yo, the numbers don't support because he capitalizing off of a moment. Like mm -hmm. a lot of it, like with the uh the control verse, capitalizing off a moment, like that, capitalizing off a moment. It's like, when are you gonna just do it on your own type vibe? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what was mm -hmm. happening during um Good Kid Massey. I can't speak on that, I can't speak on um damn you get what i'm saying but for, for the most part from my experience every time i'm introduced to kendrick lamar when i see him it's off of like a moment that's happening so yeah all mm -hmm. eyes on you you get what i'm saying but like i don't know mm -hmm. what i will say is i can't hate on uh not like us i don't feel like nobody can hate on it i feel like a lot of people are trying to hate on it but it's okay to say it's good bro it's okay it's nothing wrong with that shit. hell yeah yo you know what's funny though when's the last thing last time you heard anything from j cole he was supposed to be dropping another album yeah. like this month. This nigga is completely out of the way. <laughs> Yo, I feel like that nigga gonna push back the whole album yeah, release. Like, fuck sense. this I, I, I'm not dropping around I this. I seen somebody on Instagram said, bro, if you're an artist, a musician, and you trying to drop music, just wait like two, three weeks. I don't think it makes sense for nobody to drop nothing right now, especially not J. Cole. Like, we don't want to hear <laughs> nothing you got to say right now, bro. Wait till this over. Once this is over, you could you could, you could drop out. You could go to retirement. What's the album? What are you about to drop? Uh... I don't know. Oh, the fall man. off, like you can drop the fall off then. Yeah, fall off after this. Don't fall off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now let me ask you this question: When he does drop fall off, 
do you feel like he has to talk about this in the album or would you be comfortable with him acting like none of this actually existed and he just did some music just just just, just continue to do your thing like i'm gonna tell you i was uh running right and i'm listening to j cole and it's hard to listen to him now but i'm listening to cricket smile i'm listening to uh what's the other song uh when he was saying that I ain't never this shit before, no. I ain't never did this before, no. I'm listening to that song. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I still like this version of J. Cole because that's what mm -hmm. we see him as. I personally just don't want to hear that I'm better than you. You niggas can't fuck with me. I, like, I'm killing you niggas. Nah, I don't want to hear that. I don't no, want to hear that. No, but the, the, he still makes great music, so I think he still would do well. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you this, though, because I know what I think. Mm-hmm. Even if Kendrick Lamar, they say he about to drop, he, he should be dropping again today or whatever. Let's say Kendrick Lamar drops seven days straight. Let's say Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar just annihil annihilates Drake, right? He just get him out the way, put him in a pack, roll him up. We smoking on Drake pack, right? Do you think this tarnishes Drake career? Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> that's the. Nope. That's why it's, it's <laughs> all Drake got to do is drop a banger, and we all on the dance floor. Oh. And and that's the that's the special thing about what's going on is, and this is why I salute these two guys because either one of them, they could have ignored this, they could have mm. not even retaliated and not dropped anything, and this will this doesn't hurt their career. J Cole mm -hmm. he he responded, then he took it back, so it kind of hurts him. If you would have never responded, mm. this wouldn't hurt your career. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's why I like this because they are giving like, they're doing this for hip hop. They don't have to do this. Like Drake, if nope. he, like if he loses, he's still Drake. Mm -hmm. If K Dot loses, with all due respect, I don't. I'm not a big fan, but he's still K Dot. He's not a boogeyman. And he and I think to be honest, to be honest, damn, I'm speaking loosely here, guys. I think K Dot had more to gain from this. Oh yeah, because. Again, Fuck it. I wasn't a big fan, but after him dropping Not Like Us, it got me believing in that. Like, even I seen somebody else say, I don't, I didn't think Kendrick Lamar was battle tested. And they like, I was wrong. So I feel like K Dot gained mm -hmm. way more in this than anything, mm -hmm. than anybody. 1000, 1000%. Instead of, I, and this is what all of the Kendrick fans get. get Ken, mm, excuse me. Kendrick fans have been excitedly saying he's the boogeyman. He's the boogeyman. He's the boogeyman. But he ain't never proved himself. Yeah. So like I feel like I feel like Kendrick has yo elevated himself to another level. Not not saying that he wasn't already that nigga, but this puts him in a different space. Like I'm like, yeah, that's the boogeyman. Like from from now on, I got to say Kendrick is the boogeyman. Yo, 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 don't, yo, leave this nigga alone. Mm. And if he drops 7 days straight I'm definitely going to be like, yeah, leave that little dark skin Gemini nigga alone. Mm. Do not talk to that nigga. Like, fuck no. Like, that's some crazy shit. But the only thing that could tarnish Drake's situation is this. A chick coming out, doing a video, saying that he did something inappropriate. That's the first crack. Yeah. And then a raid on that property. If niggas go through one of Drake properties on a raid, oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, so you think, if you think, damn, like, you think it's that serious? Well, I mean, I, that that's don't sound crazy. Because if you're dating a 16 year old, yeah, I yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if any of this is real. I'm just saying the only thing that I could see tarnishing the, 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 the Teflon Dons, you know what I'm saying? Bulletproof vest is that. That's the only silver bullet that could take him down. Mm. Is some chick coming out saying some wild shit or some some police shit happening. And that's gonna shake, that's gonna shake his fan base to the core. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Diddy. Diddy, yo, Diddy been a wild nigga for 30 years. Like, nobody gave a fuck. Soon as this nigga house get run through, a couple people come out and say some shit. This nigga is ducking and hiding, posting audio of fucking uh, uh <laughs> of, of of preachers talking about faith and believing and holding on like that's the only thing you seeing right now and like niggas is really look hung up on Diddy that's crazy you know what I mean so like yeah that's the only thing I could see that could take him down right now damn yeah that that would be crazy that would be crazy but I hope not and, and I'm, I'm gonna be very clear I do not want that to happen like I love Drake period but I love Kendrick and I feel like we need both of them in the culture. Period. I don't give a fuck 
about none of this shit, bro. I just I want these niggas to enjoy battling, turning up the summer. I love to see other niggas getting turned up too, but like, yeah, let's not do that. And in that same breath, Drake has nothing to gain or lose from this battle. Oh yeah, of course. Actually, he does have shit to lose. He he had the potential of losing respect from industry niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? And losing the respect of real MCs. There are a lot of real MCs that like were like vouching for Drake. Like, yo, that nigga's a real lyricist. And that's one of the things that he could always stand on. It's like, yeah, y'all can say I'm soft. Y'all can say I'm goofy. You can say all these things, but you could not say that Drake was not a lyricist. So he had to get out here and show he's he's got to. He's got something to lose. So like y'all, I don't want y'all to say that shit. Like Drake don't got nothing to lose. He could have just ignored it. No, he could not. He had to answer. Yo, that's a part of this game. Why what? do you think that all of a sudden everybody's coming for Drake Head? I still don't understand. Because Nigga, the dog pile. This is classic dog piling. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this is it. This is the moment. This is the moment where niggas really, really believe that they could get that nigga out of here. Like, even like Metro Bowman just dropped the uh the beat, like BBL Drizzy. Yeah. And he said, like, I guess yeah, that was he dropped it on spot. I mean, um, on uh what, what's one of the, the, the sites? Um the, I thought he's dropping on Instagram SoundCloud. or TikTok or he something. Dropped like it on SoundCloud. To everybody to like make a verse and it's like ah I, I don't get it bro i don't understand it is it's, it's, it's crazy to see somebody like drake on his high mountain and people just trying to like come for a spot when he's worked with all of these people and he's helped all of these people mm -hmm. bro let me tell you like when people see the crack in the armor and niggas think they could take you out Niggas is gonna take aim, bro. That's just real life. Yeah. I've had situations happen like that with shit, like some shit get fucked up, shit start falling apart. Everybody come out to try to like rip you apart, take from you. You know what I'm saying? Make a name off of you, all that shit, bro. Like that's just how whack niggas I is. I think Drake is handling handling this really well, but I'm curious to know how he's how he's managing his emotions behind mm -hmm. closed doors because it seems like he's trolling back, right? Like uh. Metro mm -hmm. Bowman just uh dropped the, the 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 beat on SoundCloud. He commented, "Bro, mm -hmm. did you just make a beat about my ass, bro? Like, come on now." <laughs> like, like, on the, in a public eye, I think he's handling it really well. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't be me if I didn't think. I just wonder, like, man, I wonder how he's really handling this when he's in the house by himself. Like when this is all over and said and done. Like I think he even said on Family Matters, like that future shit hurt because we never had we never went through nothing like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Ah, because a lot of these guys, he really had respect for, it, especially Future. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. and can you, do you think that he could, do you think is any coming back from any of this with anybody? Yo, I've been thinking about that. Like, could, could niggas piece it up and be homies after the fact? I don't feel like anybody has violated, violated. Kendrick Lamar well, with the exception. Yeah, he violated. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick violated, violated. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's no repairing that really, even though I don't even want to say that, bro. There's a way you could repair it if there is, but I don't feel like I don't feel like Kendrick would ever repair right. it. Kendrick didn't give a fuck. That shit is never going to die on his side. But like Drake could probably be like, nigga, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I yo, they went through shit. Like Drake done been through shit with a lot of niggas and pieced it up. So you, think, you know what I mean? But nothing was never to this magnitude. Think about it. Him and Meek Mill. That happened, and Meek Mill was like, "Yo, I miss, I missed, I, 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 I missed up. I took a miscalculation, right?" So he apologized. Cool, he pieced it up. Even with like Pusha T, I don't think they pieced it up. But uh, Kanye West, they pieced it up on a on the side of uh, Jay Prince, right? So even like I'm thinking about Future. You said he might could like piece it up with Future, but Future kind of opened the floodgates for this. So now mm. it's kind of your fault. Like you dropped the project with Metro Boomin and you opened the floodgates. You put Kendrick Lamar on. And that's another thing I don't really care for as a man, bro. If I help you, and this with anybody, bro. If I help you, your career, I help change your life. It's a it's a it's a it's an amount of respect and decency that I would assume you would have for me. Like if like mm -hmm. it's a certain thing I'm not going to do for certain people. Like it's a certain thing I would I would never go there with certain people because of the respect and love that I have for them. But if I feel like mm -hmm. you're going there with me, I'm damn sure going to go there with you. So it's like, bro, I've helped you guys, i.e. Kendrick Lamar, 
you was it was once upon a time where you was on stage saying yo thank you to this guy he's opened the door for me he's helped me out mm -hmm. so to say you have had all these feel feelings for from for, for 10 years like i'm listening to kendrick lamar you you had to been feel like this this ain't nothing mm -hmm. new so like mm -hmm. you was really a snake when i was bringing you on stage helping you out mm. like you was really a snake i ain't even talking about future like because future metro booming like yeah that could have came that could have came later he could have yeah, or that something kept, like that. But for you to feel right. these type of ways about me and say you've been felt these type of ways about me when I'm the one that kickstarted your career, I don't know. I don't rock like that, bro. Like I don't know. I don't yeah, rock like that. Been cool in the beginning and then down the road, you know, because that's what Kendrick said. He's like in the beginning, he was like, "I fuck with you." He was like, "But as I've gotten to know you, I've seen things and I've heard things that I just don't like. Like I can't, I can't rock with you because of that." So like, I mean, he's already established the. Yo, like there was a time when there was love, but like just seeing what you do, I can't be a part of this. Like I can't be, I can't be anything in it. So like, I get it. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this is a complicated situation. This is uncharted water, even for hip hop. Like that we've, we've had beefs before, but we've never had number one, a beef this big. And then number two, we've never had a beef this socially complex yeah, socially complex because we because we didn't have social media but we can't say that we yeah. didn't have a beat this big because again it might not have been my time and you could speak on this biggie and pop yeah. was the biggest at at that time although they didn't start i've heard that they, they didn't really start that beef that east coast west coast thing it was really like a vibe magazine thing but even still mm. that was a big beef and even still we seen tupac get disrespectful we said first off Give and the you claim West Side till we ride mm -hmm. on a quick with game. You claim to be a player, but mm -hmm. I to wife we smash on bad boys, nigga. Like that's that's disrespectful. Facts. Like then, but uh, okay, so there was that is it's probably now the second biggest beef in hip hop history. You know what I mean? But once again, they weren't ratting each other out. Yeah, like. Yeah. Pac wouldn't get on there and say, you're like, yo, you beat yeah. your you beat your wife up, or you slap Kim, or like, yo, I seen you fucking with prostitutes. Like, he didn't do that. Yeah. He was just like, nigga, I fucked your wife. Yeah. Nigga, like, yeah, I gave her the dick. Nigga, she came over this motherfucker. Like, that's what he did. Like, it that's why I said the beef was different back then. We wasn't snitching on each other. You know what I mean? Niggas was just on some like, I'm gonna talk shit about you. You know, I'm gonna say you a big you a fat, ugly nigga, and you know, I'll beat your ass when I see you. Like, that's how the beef was. Yeah go and then like yeah now it's like niggas is telling all of your intimate secrets oh you sleeping with young girls or you doing this you, doing like that. The, you know i don't I mean? like the aspect that it could be lies too like i don't like that like <laughs> just like not the I, I won't even say the daughter thing because i'm hearing that drake kind of set that up perfectly like he kind of set that up for him to do that and and kenji lamar took the bait so i'm not going to speak on that but everything else right like if you're speaking lies, it's like, yo, come on, bro. Like it takes away from the diss. Right. I don't know how you feel about that, but I, I feel like if you're if you're telling lies just to get some shit off, it ain't it, it ain't as good. Yeah, that that loses it's the it loses the you know what I mean like like you you lying well I mean you know what I mean niggas done lied in in beef records before but like you know what I mean like if you really doing so, once again if you're lying about something that a nigga could go to jail for. That's that's low. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah, low. Like this, if you again, I, I do not stand for no type of like pedophile shit. Like, I don't. I'm right. just curious because right. all these street niggas be talking all this street shit, but they do the same thing. Where do we draw the line of ratting? Like, what's like because isn't this technically snitching? Like, what is and what isn't snitching? That's what I'm saying. This is this is snitch cast. Like, that, well, right now, but I'm saying like, yo, this this is snitch beef. Like, you know what I mean? You telling niggas all oh, niggas like personal business, like all oh, like shit. You talking about a nigga mama shit, nigga daddy shit. Like, you you start talking about a nigga like, yo, this is ratting, bro. This is straight ratting. Like, this and is then, straight and ratting. Then let's say let's say both is true, right? Because we, I don't think mm -hmm. we got to it, the Kendrick Lamar aspect of it. We talked about the Drake situation earlier, but. If both, if both things are true, Drake being a pedophile and Kendrick Lamar being a woman beater, it shouldn't be no side to pick from, to be honest. Max, both of them ain't shit. And then uh, Miss Miss B Haven said in the track in in the chat, y'all protecting pedophiles just as long as y'all can bop in the club. No, that's not what we saying. Like, why, how? 
boy, shorty, I get therapy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love you. Get therapy. Like, no, neither one of us on here is saying, yo, let's ignore all of the stand. No, no, no. but we what we're talking, you have to distinguish the difference between us disagreeing with a person's actions and talking about the reality of what this is. When these two men are talking about each other's legal, potentially legal issues. That's yeah. ratting. That's snitching. From the, from that's, the, that's from that's, the, you know, it's funny because listen, if you're if if you're a law-abiding citizen, it ain't snitching. Like if somebody is breaking into my neighbor's house, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I just might mm -hmm. call the police. Why? Because this is my neighborhood. I got kids. I got a mm -hmm. family in here. And if you you doing that to them, then you could do it to me. I want to protect my neighborhood, right? I'm not mm -hmm. living in the social construct of, of these these hood niggas. So I don't have to abide right. by their rules. So when I hear Kendrick Lamar said, I think he, said he had mentioned Gunner. He's like, I know you're doing things that's worse than Gunner. Like, so he's giving them snitching <laughs> allegations. So I'm saying if you're going to be somebody who's saying somebody is snitching, but you're doing the same thing, it's kind of, you're kind of being a hypocrite. I None of yeah. it is, I don't, I, you probably missed the beginning of this. Like, I don't, I don't agree to none of that. That's weird behavior and I don't condone it. Like I said, I got a 14 year old. I don't, that shit is corny. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mm -hmm. saying, like, if you're living in this social construct that you say you live in, you put yourself there, not me, but then you're mm -hmm. doing the opposite, something that you don't support in that social construct is kind of like snitching. What are you? You're confusing me. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. I don't, that's why I say I don't agree with either one of it, because if Kendrick, if Kendrick Lamar is a, a woman beater, we supposed to, what, be on his side because Drake is a pedophile? I'm like, no, like, we scrap both of these niggas. How much do we care? Yeah, both Yo, we back both of these niggas up and throw them yeah, away. Like, so, like, so, so you challenging me? Let me challenge you. Let me challenge you. Uh, I, I didn't see the comment, but if if you're a woman who I, I would hope love other women, right, and and want to protect other women, you mean to tell me that you're gonna side with a nigga that's beating on his wife? That's crazy. That's insane. Because because mm -hmm. just like I got a daughter, my daughter's gonna grow up to be an adult, and I'll be damned if a nigga gonna put his hands on her. Period. Just like I'd be damned if a grown man gonna come and try to scoop up your young. It neither mm -hmm. one is right. So it ain't no we it ain't no choosing no side, to be honest. If if we're gonna take it there, and same with this conversation, if we're gonna take it there, let's take it there. If we're gonna care, let's care. How much do we really mm -hmm. care? Because mm -hmm. people it seems like people only care when it's beneficial to them. When it Facts. when it meets their 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 criteria. Nah, bro, neither one of this mm -hmm. shit is cool. And that's why I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I hope that it's not true. I hope it's just rap shit. But at the same time, me being a rap fan, if it's not true, then I don't even want to hear it. It's corny. Now it's taken away from the raps. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Now, all right. So let's clarify. It ain't snitching, but it's definitely chatty patty all day long. You talk, you just talking to nigga business. You're not even really dissing a nigga. You just getting in the nigga business. You know what I mean? And then look, look, misbehaving goes from yo, y'all not protecting pedophiles. Y'all just want to bop in a club to I advise Whitney and all women to cock the hammer. So you don't like pedophiles, you don't like thing, but you condone murder. Great. <laughs> y'all crazy. Good job. <laughs> good job, shorty. Good job. Yeah, we love. Hey, we, hey I ain't That's... trying to run your way. I don't know. I don't, I ain't even see the comment. But whatever, man. I, I, I appreciate you for being here and the conversation. Yeah, definitely, I, definitely. I, like we just we have a conversation. I do think, man, when it comes to these situations, bro. Like at the end of the day, one of the hardest things uh as of uh, being a parent is accepting that your child is going to be who they want to be. A lot of like a lot of parents mm -hmm. think that like my child would never do that. I, they would never because they got a great like, bro. You don't know who's influencing your kids at school. And that's the thing. Like, you don't see what they do in the dark. So it'd be so, so surprising when it, when it comes to the light. I'm not surprised at nothing. The worst thing can happen right now, and I wouldn't be surprised. And that's not me, like, wishing any negative or, or thinking negative about my, my kids. It's just that I'm already prepared that anything can happen. I'm already mentally prepared for that. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So, like, all I can do is raise you the best way I know how to, right? Give you mm -hmm. the structure, give you the discipline for you to make the better, the best decisions in any given circumstance. You get what I'm saying? So, like, when I look at these situations, man, like, I think they're only happening because, and this is my opinion, men ain't stepping up. Like, back in the day, niggas used to whoop niggas' asses. Like, mm -hmm. me coming up, when, when you hear a nigga put his hands on a girl, you used to get your ass beat. And I said it before, so mm -hmm. niggas be scared. Like, people be scared to touch girls because they she had a bigger brother. She probably had a nigga that she messed with in the hood. Like, you would get your ass whipped if you touch a woman. You couldn't even, like, mm -hmm. you couldn't even disrespect her. 
Because you disrespect the, mm. her, her older brother's coming to kick you. Like, we don't have no more mm. of that. So, yeah, you have older older men dealing with, bro, real story. Can't make this up. Ask Cool Aunt. Cool Aunt was dealing with my um my little sister, Tyra, right? It's like, mm -hmm. I have a like really close brother. Like, we like, we not blood, but we call each other blood, right? So, his sister's my sister's. And I know think when I first met him, this is one of my close friends now. When I first met him, I'm like, yo, how old are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? And I'm like, and because that's how it was back in the day. You had men in your corner. Nowadays, mm. it seems like the men want to be the, the woman now, the new age woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, protect black men. Yeah, you should protect black men. I get it. Like, men are getting their confidence back. They, they, they're able to speak up for themselves. But it's like you don't really have men that's really standing on business for women nowadays. And that's why you have mm -hmm. niggas who are able to deal with these young girls. Because niggas ain't stepping to them. Also, because niggas in the house. Everybody on the internet. Like, back in the day, you couldn't deal, you couldn't do this. And I, I don't mean to rant, but another thing, back in the day, you couldn't do this because you couldn't, you wasn't inside. It wasn't no sexy right. on Instagram. And, like, we had MySpace, but, like, even if you wanted to meet with somebody, you probably had to catch the bus. You had to go to the hood. And, like, you walking past niggas. You had to see people outside. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, mm -hmm. like, I could just text you, like, bro, I'll come pick you up type vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it could be on a secret, on a download type vibe. Nah. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to get back to that. I know it ain't going to ever get back to that, but I think that's that's the biggest change in the, in the society and in the, in, in, in the community. And I, I, I also add to it as a, as, a, as a guy that has a lot of, like, women around him, like, like, a lot of women now don't even want to tell you they be hiding niggas. So, like, and then when you hear a story, you're like, who the fuck was this nigga? Like, I had situations like that where, you know, homegirl come and tell me, well, I, damn, I got raped or something happened. And I'll be like, well, who is this nigga? Give me this nigga name. I, I don't want you to get involved. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yo, it was a mistake. Or And you be like, bro, you got to let me protect yep. you. Now you gotta learn how to not be moving in secret all of the time. Like I be, t I tell my cousins this: Yo, bring your bring your new dude around. Let's meet him. Let me talk to him. The first thing they say: Yo, you know how you gonna be? You gonna be trying to pull this nigga up and all that? Yes, nigga, because they need to know that there's consequences to actions, and I need to know what this nigga look like. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Like they don't want to be protected. You trying to protect them, and the first thing they want to do is hide their hand or run off and do stuff. And it's like, bro, ladies. Let your I know this shit is annoying, bro. But it's the same way. If I'm dating a new chick, yo, I gotta bring her around. She gotta meet. And guess what? That's your job. Pull shorty to the side. Yo, what's your intentions? You want to fuck over my feeples or whatever, whatever. Yo, I had to go upside your head. Like, that's what checks and balances is all about. Like, you know what and I'm saying? Also, I shouldn't do it. And also, this is not a uh like a rebuttal or nothing. This is just a learning experience. And like this is something that I would teach my daughters. Bro women have to understand that you're not men either and mm -hmm. again like i said it's not a rebuttal this is not to say a man putting his hands on a woman is okay but i'm saying you must protect yourself at all times for example right i'm gonna give an example before i see what i'm gonna say i think i had a conversation with uh my wife like uh like a couple years back right and she was saying that like you should be able to tell a cop like not show the like if a cop is pulling you over and they like mistreating you and verbally mistreating you you don't have to do certain things and i'm like that makes no sense respectfully why because the goal the objective is to make it out there and see another day you can take them to court later the goal is to see another mm -hmm. day but the more you resist mm -hmm. the more you're giving them ammunition to do something that's not right that doesn't mean that they should be able to do that but the fact that they can they have the power to and what i'm saying that mm -hmm. is for women y'all need to understand that y'all not men stop getting aggressive mm -hmm. with these men stop stop mm -hmm. trying to get in their face and like and be and and, and and disrespect them. We could say disrespect is relative, but like stop trying to get in their face and try to like argue with them like you're a man. You're not a man. Because the moment that man put his hands on you, right, he's going to show you who's the real man. Even mm -hmm. though that's not okay. We're not saying that it's okay, but the man, he has that, uh, when he has the ability to do that, sometimes mm -hmm. you got to swallow your pride, make it out to see another day. You get what I'm saying? Like if you feel threatened, you might have to exit out the the the, the, the equation. You might got to leave the situation mm -hmm. because if you turn up, it's only going to make it worse. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And, and that's something that I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm definitely telling my 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 daughter's like, yo, never ever be aggressive with a man. Never. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's, it's 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 not worth it because every man is not mentally mature enough to regulate his emotions. Every man isn't mentally mature enough to walk away. Every man isn't mentally mature enough to be like, you know what? This ain't worth it. You get what I'm trying to say? So, like, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I'm...
No, nah, no, nah, I think yo, you you preaching on this motherfucker, man. You preaching, mm. you preaching. I feel like that's super important. Like, yo, I, I think, I, and this is just to close it out. I'm just gonna reiterate what I'm saying and frame it in a different way. Like, yo, if you want to be protected, you've got to move with the intent of being protect protected. Yourself. Meaning that protect yourself by allowing people to protect mm. you. You know what I mean? It's like. You have to, all right, if I'm in a team or if I'm a part of a squad or if I'm in a family, if you don't listen to the family, they're trying to protect you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to tell you how to move so that we can function properly. But if you are always functioning against or outside of the family, you can't then get mad at the family when something happens to you. It's the same thing in a relationship. If you are in a relationship and your man is telling you, yo, babe, you shouldn't dress like that, yo. You shouldn't walk out the house like that. Then you go, ah, she dress with it, ah, and it'd be like, you're arguing about your right in the world. And I we're talking about the reality of the mm. world. Yes, you you have the right to be as slutty and as stupid as you want to be. But guess what? The reality of the world is the more unsafe you move, the more you become you become something that a uh, 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 a vigilante. A tar- you become a walking target. Thank you for yeah. saying that. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why it's so it's the same way. If your girl tell you, yo, you need to clean up. You need to dress nicer. You need to do this. You need to do that. Why? Because she's trying to show you how to present yourself better so that you could be more accepted in the world. We are just thinking about two different things. You know what I'm saying? Look, I want to make sure that niggas don't grab you on the ass. I'm trying to make sure that niggas don't get overly aggressive, drunk as fuck in the club. And their immediate thought is, damn, she I can see her titties, nigga. She must be one of them. Guess what? What, guess what else we trying to do as men though? We trying to protect trying ourselves. To exactly. Like, exactly. If you go out there all willy nilly trying to have fun and show your ass, and a nigga disrespects you. Guess who got to show up for you? Me. Now niggas got to jump over shit, and try to fucking beat the and shit out of a nigga. You, what, what, <laughs> I don't think a lot of women understand is now you potentially put me in harm's way because what you put me in harm's way t- two two ways. I'll explain. One is harm's way with you. How does that look? Mm-hmm. Because if I don't do something, you're going to always second guess me, right? Now I might lose respect with you, right? Because now I'm not a man to protect my woman. But two, potentially harm's way, but going out there to protect you, to show to show you that I got your back and, and nobody can't rock with you. But now guess what? I lose, lose in that situation. Let's say I, whoop, I, I kick his ass. I go to jail. Now it's time away for my family, right? Let's say I kick his ass. He come back, he retaliate. You feel me? Let's say I don't kick his ass. I get my ass whooped. It's so many. It, it makes no like. And then let's let's take it a step further. Let's let's move away from violence. Say for instance, you got your girl, but she got a bunch of male friends. She bring the male friends around. You immediately see, yo, you need to get this scumball ass nigga to fuck about it. No, it's my man. He cooling and da 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 da. Bro, nah, yo, this is not the type of vibe you need around you. Nope, you don't need this nigga. You don't need that nigga. Yo, why you always? It's jealousy or you even like shorty. I'm trying to once again. I'm trying to keep you safe. The same thing if you got a negative ass homegirl. That's all she do is fuck all these all these niggas and always being negative. I'm like, yo, you really don't need shorty around you should that's my home girl you be like bro once again men think simplistically protection you know what i'm saying how to manage your circle you know how to keep peace around like a lot of times and we're talking purely from a if the guy really loves you and he's really looking uh, trying to do the best for you like sometimes when a nigga come into the situation he already living in peace He's trying to bring you into the peace, but you are bringing all chaos. the drama with you. Chaos. You're trying to bring all the chaos with you. Babe, you got to cut all of this chaos because out so that you can properly grow. You know Go what ahead. happens? I feel like women just want to have fun. So in like in the most respectful way, like like it's been like these videos that have been going around where it's like when you walk in with your girl, you thinking about where the exit is at. If somebody come through this, mm-hmm. how we going to handle? Like, uh, mm-hmm. what, what's what? What's where the caution signs at? Like, what can get me in trouble? And she's just la 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 la. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. naturally who a woman is, and 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 rightfully so. That's I, I would think I'm speaking for a lot of women when I say they they want to be like that, and that's they should be able to be like that, right? Mm-hmm. However, you have to understand that if you're going to be like that, it comes with certain rules and boundaries, and you got to be mm-hmm. able to accept them from us because all we want to do is have your back. We're not trying to. Mm-hmm. combat with you we're not trying we're just trying to have your back so when we're telling you things it's not to be controlling it's to 
it's mm. if anything, it's to control our environment, not to control you, mm. right? And I think sometimes it comes off wrong, and that's why we have these men versus women thing because I'm trying to c- control the environment so we don't be in, so we don't end up in harm's way. You take it as me trying what? to control you, and now we bump ahead. It's like, bro, come on. Mm-hmm. Prevention is safer than responding. Yes. Because <laughs> after you done got your ass slapped, I gotta respond. After this nigga done came over drunk late at night, and that's supposed to be your homeboy, but he trying to get all up on you. Now I gotta go beat his ass. That's responding. But if you don't answer the phone when that drunk nigga calling you, or if you get them toxic ass chicks out your life, you know what I mean? Because now they done fucked some crazy nigga, and that crazy nigga trying to come at the. That's no. The, I know. I think girls just be wanting the vibes. <laughs> like girls just want the vibes, but like. Men want the vibes that ain't going to come with nothing. <laughs> like, it's like, you trying you. to just vibe. Thank like, I'm you. trying to survive. <laughs> that's the word. I'm like, you want the vibes? I want to survive. Like, that's, yeah, fact. Like, you know what I mean? I want to, I want to survive to keep the vibes. Thanks, like, you man. know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, 20, do you think, vibes. let's get back to it. Do you think that Kendrick Lamar will drop again? I hope not. Why? You got to let these records breathe, bro. Just like you said, you had to go back and listen to Family Matters again to enjoy it. If niggas keep dropping new records, you're not really going to have time to appreciate or even delve further into the records you got. So I don't, I I feel like if anything, go ahead and do a video for Not Like Us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Turn up a little bit. You know what I mean? Get some of the Crip homies to do some, you know what I mean? Crip walk videos or something like, yo, let's, let's build off of the records that we have Versus, all right, I'm gonna keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's already started to lose its number one quality, and second of all, I'm starting to lose my interest. Mm. I, I, you know what I mean? Because Drake hasn't responded, so it's now you just overkilling. No, I say yes because Drake did this to Kendrick Lamar. Remember, it was three weeks that Kendrick Lamar took to respond, and Drake was trolling. He even dropped the AI track, right? I feel Mm. like. Kendrick Lamar should put his foot on his neck and keep pushing. Because now I want to see what you about. You did all this. You was a big bad wolf. You was a bully. When I wasn't responding, now I'm responding with real shit. I ain't responding with memes. I ain't responding with AI tracks. I'm, I'm responding with tracks that's me. And I'm coming for your head. Again, I'm rooting for Drake, but I'm also rooting for the sport. So because Kendrick Lamar hasn't been battle tested, I want to see him get really disrespectful. I mean, to the point where it's just over and over. And it's like, yo, we get it. You won. I want to, I want him to make it clear. Cause right now I feel like it's not clear. I feel like you still got Drake fans. That's like, nah, man, Kissing Lamar shit is trash. I want him to make it clear. But I also want to see Drake get up. Drake, get up. (laughs) I want to see Drake get up, man. Please somebody clip that up and put that on the internet. Damn. That's that's nuts what he just what? did. That's funny as shit. Nothing. I'm nah. We done beat the dead horse on that. 